Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, thank you very much for all your likes, subscribes and your comments that I've been receiving. They are greatly appreciated. Thank you very much indeed. Um, please, as, at any time, feel free to reach out via either on Discord or through the web uh, and YouTube um, and let me know comments, thoughts, videos that are posted and anything new you'd like to see. Okay, today then what I want to um, look at is the aircraft handling exercises but more specifically getting into the horn awareness and recovery training stuff. Um, the information on these are available through uh, googling the basic employment manuals <clears throat> either the Korean one the Norwegian or the MCH Google is out there and the whole point of the horn awareness is it's a series of maneuvers flown to train recovery procedures from high pitch attitude low airspeed conditions normally signaled by the horn it's designed to be flown initially as a seat in sequence as a series and these control maneuvers will place you in a position in which you may unintentionally find yourself while engaged in air combat maneuvering and hopefully this exposure and recovery training will give you the techniques to recover should you find yourself in uh, in this situation <clears throat> so what I'm going to reference and I'll put those up called the hearts maneuvers you can see on the right hand side there and we're just going to flow through um, setting the parameters and then when we hear either the horn or we get to 120 knots we're going to recover as per the document okay so hearts one then 10,000 feet AGL or greater which we are slowing to 250 knots trims neutral fuel is balanced cat one we've got we are clear to the right we are clear to the left and the loadout I've got you see that's a cat nine and an AQS pod there and I've got a centerline tank which is still currently feeding us so hearts one maneuver then is climb to hold 25 AOA in a 30 degree nose up pitch with mill power and then when stable at 25 AOA and you get the horn unload so release full aft stick pressure and feel the aircraft unload let the nose fall through and with all these exercises here 200 knots will be our recovery speed so we'll set 250 knots and then we'll pull up 30 degrees uh, on the pitch ladder and then hold 25 AOA <clears throat> all right there's 250 knots mill power pull into 30 nose up there's 30 degrees nose up speeds decreasing a little bit of forward stick just to keep that there speed slowly decaying AOA's building so now back stick to keep the nose up there's coming up 25 AOA the nose wants to come through keep holding and unload nose drops through keep the mill power in nose down get the speed building up looking for 200 knots there's 200 knots and recover at this point don't pull too hard you don't want to put yourself back into high AOA slow speed all right so that was hearts one now looking at hearts number two then which is a nose high maneuver 10,000 feet AGL which we are just going to come clear of the land 350 knots for this one and we're going to pull up to 60 degrees nose attitude at 200 knots we're going to unload release the stick roll inverted look for the nearest horizon stop the roll and then smoothly apply sufficient back stick to pull the nose through when the nose is below the horizon smoothly unload roll upright at 200 knots and recover 
Okay, cat one, fuel's balanced, trim is neutral, slowing back to 350. We are clear on the left, we are clear on the right. Okay, there's 350 knots, mill power, 60 degrees nose up. See the jet shaking. Okay, there's 200, roll. Look for the horizon, pull. Nose is coming back through. Get the nose coming down. Roll upright. Two hundred knots and recover. <coughs> okay, then looking at the horn demonstration maneuver, looking for three hundred knots. Mill power, neutral trim, which we've got. Fuel's balanced, fuel's good. Cat three, correction, cat one. We are clear on the left. We are clear on the right. And this time, it's going to be nose up 50 degrees at the horn, or 100 knots. We're going to unload, roll inverted to the nearest horizon. Stop the roll, smoothly apply aft stick, get the nose coming down. When the nose is below the horizon, we're going to smoothly unload 200 knots, roll the jet upright, and then recover. So there's 300 knots. Just leave the pictures on for you. Okay, mill power, nose coming up 50 degrees. <coughs> okay, there's 50. Speed's decaying. There's the horn. Roll. Look for the horizon we've got. Because it's going so slow. So nose is going down. Rolling upright. There's 200 knots. And recover. So you'll see when you really do get slow speed, the jet wants to kick around, but just keep your input smooth and uh, you'll be able to hold it and recover. <coughs> okay, hot four then, the home recovery at 50 to 70 degrees. This time we want 15,000 feet AGL, which you've got slow into 250. Trim is neutral, cat one, fuel is balanced and sufficient. We are clear on the left, clear on the right. And this time then, we are going to roll to 10 degrees bank, pull the nose up 50 degrees, hold AOA limiter until the horn or 130 knots. At the horn, we're going to unload roll inverted to the nearest horizon stop the roll smoothly apply sufficient aft stick to pull the nose below the horizon when you've got the nose going down unload and then 200 knots roll upright and recover so 50 to 70 degrees nose up 10 to 20 degrees angular bank and then pull to the limiter So, slowing down, there's 250, mill power, 50 to 70, keep the nose coming up, there's 10 degrees angle of bang and pull. 
There's the horn. Roll. Looking for the horizon. There it is. Nose is coming down. Unloading. Keep the jet going down. We've got good amounts of nose down. 200. There's roll. Um, pull to the horizon. There we are, guys. There's Hearts 4. And the last one, then, is exactly the same. Uh, just a bit quicker, because we're going to go 70 to 110 degrees nose. So we, uh, we need to be a bit faster to get the nose up. So we're really nose-high attitude. We'll climb up a bit, because we need 15,000 feet. Okay, above 15,000 feet AGL, cat one, fuel is fine, trim is neutral, clear on the left, clear on the right, mill power, nose coming up. Roll coming in, and pull, there's the horn, unload, roll over, look for the horizon, there it is. Nose is coming down with a bit of unload. She's kicking around because she's slow. Nose is coming down. Speed's building. And rolling. Look for the horizon. There we go. So that then is a quick look at the horn awareness and recovery training syllabus. Um, please do comment, as I said at the beginning, comment, uh, let me know what you think. And uh, if you want anything in particular as a video, please do give me a shout and I'll uh, see what I can do. All right, guys, keep safe. Bye now.